Welcome to a not so live se section of this guy. Well, I'm Stone Picker 95. I know him as Dustin Tucker. And he's a bit of an introvert, but we don't talk about that anyway. Let's get right into it with the video today. What's going on, everybody, on YouTube? Take it away, buddy. So, <clears throat> I woke Junior up today at. 6.30 in the morning. 6.30 to go to Dog Day, which is an outdoor flea market around us. And we weren't really expecting much, but it turned into a pretty good day. Uh, the first one we went to, I spent $3 on these. It's a Kiss Pinball, but it's for Blockbuster. It's not the actual release. I got that for a dollar. First, he was suspecting it would be in a demo version of the game. But at the same time, there's no tell. And then I got Friends, the one with all the trivia for PS2. And this was $2. It's complete. So it didn't really look that promising. And we kept going. And I found this uh, Blue Ranger. And his hands are chewed up. His fingers are missing. He was a dollar. And I got this little black ranger. And he was 50 cents. He's in pretty good shape. Don't know why in the fuck she sold that to him for a dollar. With the hands being chewed up. Should have been 50 cents for both of them. Hell's wrong with these people, man. So let me walk around to the other side. And this guy was set up. And he had these bins. And I found a, a fin from Star Wars that was still in the packaging, but it had been cut up. And he wanted $5 for it. And I found some other stuff, and he was more reasonable on the prices with them. But I got a bag full of uh, Star Wars characters. I got uh, this trooper, that trooper. Pretty sure this is from. That might be from episode three. I think this is from. Or no. Spider Man. Either. I think this is the Vulture. No, it might be the Vulture. But anyway, it was just a. It was a collection of stormtroopers of very varying sizes for the most part. Varying sizes. Obi Wan with a broken lightsaber. <laughs> this Mandalorian. Whoa. A bigger clone trooper. A bigger R2-D2. It's a shame it didn't come with any of the accessories. Power up with Duracell. Does it do anything? Whoa. It's a bop it. It's a bop it. There's no way.
Okay, man. You don't? No? <laughs> He's gonna keep it going. He's gonna shoot for the high score and bop it on an R2-D2 toy. This guy. So nice. Okay. I didn't mean for it to go on that long. I thought I was gonna have to sneeze. No, you definitely meant for it to go that long, man. That was uh, that was an insane amount of time. High score, but C three PO. Ooh, connects. I think. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Who's this guy? Who's that guy? Oh man, you got me beat on that one. I've never seen that before. But anyway. This is Hasbro. Oh, Marvel. One Marvel I'm Kind of looks like the Green Goblin. Oh, dude, there's a Kylo Ren. <clears throat> Bigger Stormtrooper. Really muscular. Insanely buff Stormtrooper. I don't think we really need that one. A Chewbacca's. He's a Chewbacca's. And some guns. Officially not interested. In Clone Trooper's gun. Oh, is it for the buff one? He said twelve dollars. Was it twelve? I think it was two. Seven dollars. Seven dollars for that bag of Star Wars stuff. And fifteen for all of these. Yeah. Who's this guy? Oh, I'm pretty sure that's Bray Wyatt. Got that guy? Not 100% on that. Don't don't quote me. I'm just Who's this guy? That guy is Alberto Del Rio. Yeah, him. He said, yeah, him. Steve Austin. Whoa. I got no shot. And that's the bottom line right there, boy. Gold dust. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing special about that guy. Triple H. In his prime, man. Big, ugly Triple H. Who's this? That's John Cena. Who? Or would you prefer to me to say Juan Cena? Who's John Cena? Oh, man, I, I don't know. He was just one of those guys. Oh, he's that actor in Daddy's Home. Oh, he might be. You might be right. The Ultimate Warrior. Whoa. So all that was $22. Yes, sir. We'll the see. the wrestlers and the Star Wars stuff, and we found this guy that was setting up games, and I never see this, and I've been waiting like every time I see it, it's at a store for twenty dollars. It's the first copy of it I've seen. Yeah. Ever. So I figured I wasn't gonna get a deal until I actually bought it. So I went ahead and got it. I talked him down from twenty five to twenty dollars for Donkey Kong sixty four. And the best find, we go over back to the other side to head towards the truck. And this woman had a canopy set up. And she was selling a buttload of toys, man. Like a cubic fuck ton of them. And I don't know, man. I think she might have had a, quite a few kids. The first old one I seen was this Jurassic Park toy. This Ninja Turtle. And when I picked this up, she was like, oh yeah, that's my vintage Ninja Turtles. I'm asking $5 on him. And I was like, oh shit. I'm about to find a bunch of stuff I want. And she's going to charge the shit out of me. And then she's like, well, if you get a bunch of them, I'll make you a good deal. And I was like, okay, well, she'd probably come down like $2 or $3 a piece for everything. So I start digging in a bin, and I got all these out. I found this rock, and these are pretty dirty. They're going to be cleaned up. NWO Scott Hall. I have to soak them in vinegar for a little while. 
Yeah. He's actually pretty cr pretty clean. Reza Ramon. And all of them, for the most part, are in pretty decent shape, too. Except for, except for that one that's messing a hand. Yeah, that was for another dude. Oh, well, I'm probably going to slap him right in his tallywagger next time I see him. Jake the Snake Roberts. Ooh, uh, that's amazing, man. Shawn Michaels. The Heartbreak Kid. Don't you have, don't, you have a Triple H with DX2, right? No. No, you didn't get that one? Sting. My favorite as a kid. Besides Hulk Hogan was Booker T. I don't know why they had you like Booker. What? I don't know. I just like Booker T. He was crazy. I mean, there, there, there was plenty of them back then that were insane. And she goes, oh, you like wrestlers, do you? Retro wrestlers. I got a bunch of the old, the old school ones. And I'm like, oh, really? And she's like, yeah, where are they at? And she digs around. She's like... Here's my bag of old ones. And she hands me this Ziploc bag. He bought the whole damn bag, man. The Rockers. Hasbros. Oh, wasn't that the, the... The Ultimate Warrior Hasbro. The dark haired one was the one that Shawn Michaels uh, Sweet Chant Music through the window, wasn't it? Sure, I don't know. Pretty sure it was. Macho King. I have to look it up. With Macho King on the shorts. They're not shorts, dude. The Green Million Dollar Man. <clears throat> Brutus the Beefcake. And my dad had this one when he was younger. And he gave it to me, and I'm pretty sure I hit it with a hammer. But I finally replaced it. The Big Boss Man. And he is in... Amazing shape. But that's what we found. And that whole bag, or all the ones from the woman, was uh, $20. And I was like, Right on the money, bro. All right. For almost two bags worth of shit. Take oh, my man. money. Now, how much you thought, how much you think you can make off all that? No idea. Because that's a pretty decent pile, man. Yeah, that's all right. That's not bad. Anyway, I'm Junior, also known as Jr. for most people. Nobody, <laughs> call, nobody calls me Jr. <laughs> this is Dustin, otherwise known as the Limestone Picker, 1995. It's 995. Oh, excuse me, it's 995. My bad. I was the one messing that up, but he never told nobody. I but did. at the beginning of this video. <laughs> well, anyway, we're out of here. Until next time, keep it right, keep it tight. Look at this guy. There's nothing even squirrel tires this morning. That's the heaviest blanket ever, man. It really hits you on the chest every time. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Hot potato with a 20 pound blanket. <laughs>